Hi everybody, this is your master teacher Nagumita Bhattacharji and today I am here to let you all know about five things that cats love. Yes, you guessed it, right? It's of course because I have two kittens at home and oh by the way, I'm not just a cat person, huh? I do love cats as well as dogs equally. It's just that not, right now I have two cats at home. And I just thought that it'll be a good idea to, you know, tell you all about what these two kittens love and in general what cats usually love. Uh, in, in case, you know, you come across cats near your uh, house or in your neighborhood, then maybe you can just, you know, conversate with them by looking at these things that they love. Yeah. Now, uh, yes, so I'm recording this video and I'm going to tell you about five things cats love. Also, I am recording this video with closed doors because had the door been open, this re video will not be recorded because as soon as they come in, they are going to chew the wires, right? And my phone is going to get conked off. So yeah, I'm going to start with, uh, you know, without much further ado, I'm going to start with five things that cats love. And I'm going to also show you some photos and videos. I think it's a great chance for me to show some photos and videos of uh, my cats, that is Leo and Felix. So without much further ado, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Come on. Number one, cats love sleeping. I think that's exactly why they are my spirit animal because uh, honestly telling you, as your master teacher, should I say it? I'm just gonna tell you. Yeah, my favorite pastime is sleeping guys. I love sleeping, like completely. You give me a 24 hours day to not do anything and I think for the uh, 18 hours, I'm just gonna sleep because I love it that much. And uh, yeah, that's why, I, you know, me and uh, Leo and Felix, we bond very well because we all love sleeping. <laughs> yes, every time I jump onto the bed to, you know, just rest my back, uh, rest my back or, you know, just take a little bit of rest and relax. Felix and Leo, they both hop onto the bed just to sleep. They love it. Like they absolutely adore sleeping for 15 to 16 hours of a day they only sleep that's what they do yeah that's the best part of being a cat owner because they love sleeping and you don't really have to pamper them much like dogs <laughs> no i'm not creating a hatred between cats and dogs guys but yeah cats do love sleeping a lot so that's one of the best part about having them number two point is that they love boxes and as a cat owner, I think uh, every time a package or a parcel that comes in, I actually save it for them and I give it to them as uh, they lo love to play with it. They will just be playing with it, you know, just slapping it, get inside it and do whatever they want to. So they just adore boxes to the extreme point uh, because I think that's something they lo love to play with. I mean, I have we have got them a lot of toys, but they love to play more with the boxes than the toys. So. As a cat owner, I understand now that it's not okay to buy them toys that are expensive. Instead, giving them just, giving them just the boxes of parcels, that's a great idea because they love to indulge into it. Number three point is that cats love being playful. Yes, also, it has to be as per their time, not with your time. It, you can't just make them play just because you want to play, right? It has to be as per their time. Like when they want to be playful, then they are like, okay, I'm here, maybe let's play. And you know, they're just going to like, you know, stretch themselves and get ready for play. And what is it they like to play with? So usually they love to play with a ball or, or you know, something that you can just... Uh, blow it or something uh, something that uh, you know, something that blows in the wind something that just moves around a little too much those are the kind of things that they that cats love so if you have a rope just a normal rope also and if you just dangle it around them dangle it in front of them i think they're gonna be happy uh honestly telling you they also love my hair they chew on my hair when the fan is at uh you know the highest speed and when it blows or when it just moves around they love eating my hair as well yeah so they love moving objects and they love being playful 
also with each other so leo and felix i have two kittens at home and they both are basically i just feel like they are uh, you know two fighters from dangal aur ya fir mujhe aisa lagta hai ki wo ufc khel rahe hain kyunki sara din bhar they are just fighting with each other and just being playful with each other so it's amazing because as a cat owner i don't really have to look at them so much because they are just busy uh, busy among themselves right that's great Cats love hunting. Of course, I understand that you have cats indoors and you have domesticated them, but try to understand they are at the end of the day they are animals, right? And they love to prey for their food. So, how much ever food you give them, that's a natural instinct to just prey for somebody. Prey for uh, you know, prey for uh, any small rodents or animals or anything and that's the most prized position so when they bring you something like that please don't try to scold them or don't get angry with them or don't just try to look away because for them they are doing it out of love they just want to gift you something of course it's not going to be as materialistic as you want or it cannot be a diary it cannot be a greeting card it cannot be a pen pencil or anything that us humans we have the notion of gift but cats they are actually when they're hunting and when they're bringing it to you that's actually their gift yeah so just don't be angry it's okay they are going to dirty your house but they stay there right it's okay number 5 cats love sunbathing if you just have a you know window or a, a you know just put away the blinds or the curtains that you have and just give them a high space or uh, you know if you have a cat patio then it's great because they love climbing up staying there and they love looking at the world from there and just you know uh, observe everything because they are good observants also they love observing everything so if you just can give them a high raised patio or something where they can climb where they can sit they can chill there and from there if they can get a little bit of sunshine oh my god that's heaven for them cats love to sunbathe right i mean up above i think 6 to 7 hours if there is sunlight my cats also they go outside in the you know the balcony area that i have they go there they sit there uh, it's actually not the balcony area it's also the washing machine area so they sit on the washing machine area and uh, from there they just look at the world and they can observe for hours i don't know how and what they observe actually i know <laughs> what they observe they usually observe some flying insects the fly some flying birds or uh, you know butterflies and uh, they also sometimes try to like catch them or something but usually they love moving objects like i just told you right so they love to watch the moving objects the rustling of the leaves and they just love the warm temperature because they can cozy up there and even if you are sitting there if even if you are sitting somewhere right and if the temperature is a little warm they will definitely come to you they will sit on your lap because that is a little warmer temperature than the usual other places so they love warm temperatures and they love sunbathing here are some photos of leo and felix where you can see them sunbathing all the time So guys, I hope that you like the video and I hope that you love the cute pictures of Leo and Felix that I have put together. Uh so a little story about Leo and Felix. Yes, those were strays at some point and uh, me and my husband, we uh, got them from a you know garbage disposal area. Actually, uh, they were fostered by somebody and uh, they were found in a garbage uh, bin where somebody had probably put them in a carton box and they just threw them so uh, you know the foster home people they had to bring them home and they had a lot of diseases there were a lot of bacteria inside them there were a lot of bacterial infections and everything so clean them properly and take care of them and now they're like happy cats that you see them in the videos and the photos so i just hope that you like the video as much as i loved making it and if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe because vedantu young wonders always brings you what you want right so please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you all very 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 soon have a nice day ahead
Lots of love. Bye-bye.